Howdy partners, I'm Sunset Carson. Today I have a very special guest for you, a man that I have known for many, many years, a man that has put all of us cowboys practically in the business with the beautiful gun belts, the spur straps, the hat pans, the shaps, the saddles, and whatever we needed to make the westerns look good. Mr. Bob Brown. How you doing, Bob? Just fine, Sunset. Glad to be with you, kid. Partner, I'm glad for you to be here. It's really swell to have the opportunity to have you here, Bob. I notice you have a... Recognize this, Sunset? <laughs> this man brought this from Argentina after he won it down at Argentina, the greatest cowboy of the year. All-around cowboy of the year. I think that was 1941. And he, he brought this to me, and I've kept it over 40 years. This is a McGay cactus rope, and he, he thought it was lost, but he, he forgot he gave it to me, and I don't <laughs> lose anything. Anyway, I thought yeah, that, you'd like to see that. Yeah, that rope was on the saddle, Bob, that I won there. And uh, we got so many things to talk about. Uh, what do you want to talk about? Do you want to talk about the old let's, let's, uh, train robber, Al yeah, Jennings? let's talk about Al Jennings. Uh, this is a picture of me and Al Jennings taken in 1942 behind my shop on Hollywood Boulevard at Bronson. And uh, I'm just a foot taller. But he's wearing my gu uh, guns there, my gun belt. And he says, Bob, if I'd have had those in 1898, I'd have really done some real robbing. <laughs> but he robbed a couple of trains and uh, uh, a lot of stories pro and con against old Al, but uh, he was a great little guy as far as I'm concerned. So... Well, it, Al, Al, Al uh, yeah. didn't he run for governor? He ran for the governor of Oklahoma uh, and missed it by 200 votes. Missed by yeah. 200 votes. Can he, you imagine uh, that? He's quite a guy. He well, was a great he, guy. he was in a little of everything. Yeah. He was uh, a train robber, horse thief, cattle rustler, uh, just about anything. And then, then he turned over a new leaf after he got out of jail. He went to Ohio State Penn for 15 years, and while he was in there, he uh, he was a buddy, a partner of uh, Sidney Porter, who later became O. Henry. The story of the, the uh, stories of old Henry, that was Sidney Porter. And Al and Sidney Porter were buddies. They were censoring the mails. Every time the mail come in, they had to read it and check out certain things that wasn't too kosher. Anyway, <laughs> Al told him, why don't you put down some of these nice stories? And they, these stories come, become uh, the, the famous O. Henry stories. That's the way the O. Henry story started. But I knew Al for the last 30 years of his life, and I was one of his pallbearers. And uh, by the way, here's a Wells Fargo sack that he gave me full of 45 caliber automatics. And that I wonder, was, I wonder okay. if we get one of you boys to pick up this photograph right, just, over just here take it and kind of put it out of the way. Lay it down over there. Now this, anyway, this is, this, is one actually, of, this is a Wells Fargo sack full of money that he lifted in 1890, in Muskogee, Oklahoma, he took this off a stagecoach. So I've kept it in pretty good shape all 18 these years. 1890, can you 1890. imagine that? We've taken a lot of them old, old Cherokees, robbed a lot of those off the stagecoaches uh, that I've been on. Just happened to have Al's boots that he wore when he robbed the train. And uh, he gave me these over 40 years ago. Over 40 years ago. Yeah, he used to be in my shop. He liked to come in and shoot the breeze with me and talk leather and whatnot, and how he uh, held up trains and whatnot. Well, that is fantastic, Bob. Well, uh, Jennings boots. We've covered old Al pretty good, so. No, I, there's one more story okay. I'd, I'd, I'd heard on Al that I would like to tell the, the people about. Uh, when he robbed a train there, there was a judge on the train, and the, the judge, he didn't have no money on him, so he took his watch. Oh, uh, and, it, uh, it so, was a big, big shot lawyer. Oh, a lawyer? Uh, yeah, he became a, a first-class lawyer in L.A. County years later. And uh, Al said, hi, Bill. W.I. Gilbert was his name, the famous W.I. Gilbert. And uh, 
Al, he, he knew Al by his red hair out behind his uh, red bandana. And Al knew him. In fact, Al knew all of them because there was a bunch of preachers on, on board. Anyway, uh, he didn't get anything out of the safe because he, he loaded it. He had two sticks of dynamite and he put, uh, placed them in the wrong place. And he blew the safe only a little crack and he couldn't even give his, give his hand in. There was $90,000 of gold bullion in there, but he couldn't get a, a chunk of it. So he left that and he thought, well, we got to get something out of, out of this job to uh, take care of the boys. So he ran them out and lined them along the engine. I have carved one of these pictures, just like the one you've seen here, uh, the, the train robber of Al Jennings and Chickasha siding. Anyway, uh, he took this, this big shot lawyer's watch off, and, uh, off him and held it up. And that's the way I've got it in, in the picture, depicted in the picture. Anyway, he took it and uh, about four months later in El Reno, Oklahoma, they were walking down the boardwalk and he met W.I. Gilbert and, and Gilbert said, hi, Al. Al says, hi, Bill, and that was it. And uh, Al says, I got something for you, Bill, and he gave him his watch back. <laughs> uh, and uh, then later on, Bill Gilbert came out to California and was a big shot lawyer in L.A. County and uh, tried many of the famous cases out here. And uh, his boy happened to be law-minded and took up to follow his dad's footsteps. Anyway, W.I. Gilbert Jr. And when I was a deputy sheriff, I'm a retired sheriff now, uh, in L.A. County, I used to meet W.I. Jr. in the halls. He used to try his cases in my court. Anyway, he came in and he found out that I knew Al and he says, my God, Bob, we got a lot in common. My dad told me about Al. Now you know all the all the movements because you got it all from the the man. Anyway, he says I got something home that my dad gave me, and I want you to have it. And it it happened to be that gold watch. But before he got it to me, his house was burglarized, and somebody got the watch, and I didn't get it. But that would have been something from old Al. That, that would have really been a souvenir. But anyway, I thought that was quite a thing. Is that what you wanted to mention about? Yeah, I thought that was quite a story. And you got... Uh... Well, I knew I was going to come down here today, so I, I've i been working about a week on on a, a pair of holsters I made, just like I did 45 years ago for Hopalong Cassidy. And this is an outfit just like Hoppy's. So I just made it for myself. That beautiful? And that's... <laughs> I'm the only one that knows this pattern. I've got, had it for 40 years. So I, so I just thought I'd bring it down and show you. And the hat band that you have on. Oh, yes. Gary Cooper gave it to you, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I made all the leather saddles and all of his Western gear for the Westerner. 1940 film with, uh, what was the old bartender? Oh, Judge Bean. It was Judge the story Orleans. of uh, Judge Bean west of the Pecos, law west of the Pecos. Anyway, I made this hat band for Gary Cooper, and these little diamonds made out of silver were all around his uh, the candle and and the fenders on his saddles. And uh, he didn't give me the saddle, but he says, Bob, put this in your museum. So that was 40 years ago. This is an outfit I made him, and he gave it back to me. <laughs> that's, and that's really great, Bob. Here, here's a, here's a bunch of holsters that I've got the original patterns for Buck Jones, Rex Allen. I was the first leather man he ever had any work done. And I got him started out at Republic. I made a, a pair of a Charles Shaps for Tom Mix. This is the pattern for Tom Mix. And uh, John Wayne's picture, Red River. I made uh, Montgomery's low hung holsters for him. This is just the, uh, the paper pattern. This is the only way I could present it to you by gluing it on a card. But I thought you'd like to see some of these old timers. This is Gene Bisclues that I was one of his sheriffs. This is his saddle that I built in 1936 and he used to lead his 
uh, sheriff's posse with this, and he, he was very proud. This is another satellite built. Then, oh, by the way, here is the actual paper pattern I, I uh, designed for John Wayne's boots in Red River. Ha, wristbands, I made Gilbert Rowland's wristbands. He had a broken bone that he wanted to hide, so I made a, a nice <coughs> carved wristband with three uh, silver buckle sets. In all the old movies that our friend uh, Bob was here a little while ago and talked to you, uh, <coughs> he directed all these pictures and he remembered it well when I showed him this picture. He says, well, I never knew why Gilbert Rowland wore that band and it's to cover the broken bone. Here's uh, Gary Cooper's uh, uh, spur straps in The Westerner. Charlie Sterrett, I made all of his outfits. I made his outfit uh, for the uh, Durango Kid, the black masked good guy. This like the Lone Ranger. Uh, by the way, you've seen the pattern here, and here's the actual finished, finished boots. John Wayne's, and he, he waded through the Red River and got them all messed up after all <laughs> my beautiful work. I was a great friend to Carbine Williams. After he got out of the pen, he was an ex-con, too, just like a, some of my greatest friends were ex-cons, seems like. Anyway, uh, Carbine Williams was the inventor of the carbine for the United States government, and he spent time in uh, Caledonia, the federal prison in North Carolina, and he got 30 years. So. Uh, he used to come out, and uh, when they made the picture with Jimmy Stewart, he and I were the technical directors. <coughs> now, Sunset, what would you like to hear about? Is there anybody on the sheet that you'd like to see uh, or talk about? Man, you've made gun belts. This is a list of many, many uh, cowboys that I made all their Western gear for. This is kind of the list you made <coughs> the gun belts for. There's Gene Autry, Richard Arlen. Rex Allen Sr., Sunset Carson, who's that? <laughs> <laughs> Hopalong Cassidy, Bob Bray and Lassie, the Range Busters, Albert Decker, Rory Calhoun, Crash Corgan, Montgomery Cliff, Charles Sturrett, Wild Bill Elliott, Tommy Farrell, Monty Hale, <coughs> William S. Hart, Raymond Hatton, Buck Jones, Alan Rocky Lane, Lash LaRue, Bob Livingston, Ray Taylor, Taylor, Gregory Peck, and Tex Williams. Man, that, and John Wayne, of course. That is quite a collection you got yeah, there, Bob. Yeah, talking about Tex Williams, I brought his pattern here because it's a little different. That's his pattern. It was a double, a cross, cross belt deal. But there's his original patterns after 40 years. <laughs> I collect and save everything. My goodness, Bob. It seems like our tape's just about to run out on us, and oh, oh yeah, one thing, minute. one thing else, yeah. Sunset just last month made a film down in uh, Lincoln County, New Mexico, about Billy the Kid. Is that right? That's right. So that spurred me on to uh, bring a pair of spurs. These belong to uh, Pat to Garrett. Pat Garrett, and I have no papers on them, but I think they're authentic. They were given to me by an old cowboy, Buck Weaver. I talked to someone here today, and he knew Buck Weaver. So these are Pat Garrett's spurs, the man that killed Billy the Kid. <laughs> so that's well, what, about it. What about that, partners? <clears throat> well, Bob, we want to thank you very much for bringing all this down and showing it to our fans out there in television land. And I know that they've all enjoyed it. Uh-oh. One more little thing. Here's Sunset when he broke into Hollywood. He went into the Roosevelt Hotel with his horse and signed in. And on his saddle, he's got this McGay rope that I've shown you to here today. <laughs> oh, and another, here's one other little ditty. When I was younger, on Hollywood Boulevard, there's a picture of me carving, and there's a, there's a clipping on the bulletin board that Sunset brought in to me 
winning the championship uh, of the world down in Argentina. There's an actual picture of him on my wall. And I gave him that about two years ago after 40 years. <laughs> well, Bob, thank you very much. Our time is just about out. And partners, we see you again on the Sunset Cars Nostalgia Theater. So long, goodbye, and may God bless you. Bye now.